what opens a kayak fishing door without the kayak core man you're stuck back at the shore you can't have a poor kayak core and expect to roar soar and be the victor the kayak core lets us do way more than before so it's time to restore the core man it's not a chore or a bore it's what your core is made for we will ignore the core no more just wait and see what I got in store. I got exercises galore to shore up your core. Some are even on the floor. Need I say more? Check out these four. Huh, I'm a poet and didn't even know it. I know, keep my day job right. So the core. The core includes our upper abs, lower abs, side abdominals, our back, our lower back, mid back. And our core we use for virtually everything we do on the kayak, whether it's from loading up the kayak at the beginning to stabilize our body, to pick up our kayak, to take it out to the water, to paddling. Of course, we use a ton of core paddling, but even things like, you know, if we're, we're bringing in a fish, we got to hold up with one side, we got a net with the other, we're twisting our body. If we're retrieving anchor and we're twisting our body, anything where we're twisting at all or having to stabilize our body. And anytime we're using our limbs, that our core is our link between our limbs that we, we, we reach out with and our stabilization. So anytime we're using any of our limbs, our core is our stabilizing force. So the core is super important. So we're going to start out with lower, lower back, mid back with the Romanian deadlift. And get our lower and mid back, we're going to start with Romanian deadlifts. So we're going to have the dumbbells out in front of us. We're going to have our feet nice and close together. Our feet inside shoulder width, a couple inches apart, toes pointing straight ahead. We're going to keep the dumbbells lined up right over our legs, our palms over our legs. And we're going to sit back like we're trying to sit in a chair, but not like we're squatting. We're going to let ourselves hang over the front of our knees and then back up. The goal is to keep your shin straight up and down the whole time. We don't want our knees out here like so. We want to keep our shin straight up and down. So sitting down, letting our, letting our shoulders hang over the front of our knees, end up. Shoulders hang over the front of our knees, end up. Don't let your back get too rolled up. Keep your shoulders back a little bit. You want to have a fairly straight back here. And then up. So this gets our mid and lower back, the back side of our core. So we'll go 10 on these. Then next we'll go into a, so get on the sides. We're going to do side planks. You can do side planks. Side crunches also work, but we're going to add something in. We're going to do a rotation with them. So once we get set up, we're going to get the elbow right underneath the shoulder, feet pointing straight ahead. We're going to pop up into that plank position and hold it. Take the dumbbell underneath our rib cage and then up. Underneath our rib cage and up. So we have a little bit of a twist. Go 10 on these. These are pretty tough. So you could do these without the dumbbell. You can even do it with just your hand. Just that rotation alone, you'll feel. Okay, so we'll go 10 on these bad boys. Obviously, switch and get the other side. So on the other side, same thing. Taking it underneath, end up. Underneath, end up. Really feel it on that lower end down here. Next thing we're going to do going to take the dumbbell put it out in front of us get to get on a bench something we can hold on to put the dumbbell between the arches of our feet and pick up just pick them up like so staying back you can also pull your knees in you can do both you can do 10 with your legs straight then you can do 10 where you pull it up with your knees Either way, that's getting your lower abdominals, lower abs. Next thing we're going to get, we're going to do a crossover toe touch with the dumbbell. So we want to use light dumbbells here. I got fives. Keep it light. So I got straight arm arms, completely straight. Let's 
going straight back over my shoulder. I don't have it out here. Straight over my shoulder. I'm going to bring this foot way back up over my head, and then I'm going to touch with my fingers. I'm going to open up the dumbbell and touch with my fingers. So crossing over and touch. Let it stretch each time. Get your lower abs and your upper abs at the same time, plus a little bit of the twisting action. So we'll go 10 on this. Works your abs from that stretch position. There's two types of ways we can work, well three, but two of them are a stretch position or when we're they're completely clenched up in a contracted position. So we're hitting these out of the stretch. Just switching sides. Bring that foot way back. You don't want to have your foot out here where you're trying to reach it there. Instead, you want to bring your foot way back. Bring it up over your head, basically. That's my Restore the Kayak Core to get you off the shore workout. To help you dominate the water, dominate the kayak, dominate the fish. Tight lines.